everybody. Um, this is sort of a ride along with goggles quickie tutorial thing and uh, subject today is how to stretch the uh, overfloater K100E so you can get this chassis that's uh, you know just looks a lot better than that uh, short chassis especially if you're over here in North America running around this is the kind of that's right about where you'd like a chassis to be for comfort it rides a heck of a lot better than uh, like you know, I mean look at the Kenworth in the background there you know that's a default game truck and this is about the same length maybe a little shorter actually you know what let's just scoot over there beside it and see never even thought of doing that before oh. line it up beside it Yeah, it's longer. So, I mean, this isn't an extreme chassis by any stretch, but it's it's nice. It drives good. It's uh, lots maneuverable enough. You can get around with it just fine. If you've been watching the videos, you see, you know, I take it anywhere. And, um, yeah, great. So, let's show you how to get it. So, hopefully my desktop is capturing. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a truck dealer. So, truck part dealer. Oh, we're going to go access mod dealer, right? Kenworth. And I always go for the VIT. Like, I like this. Um, well, this one says VIT as well, but the set forward axle. You can see here the front axle is further forward. And this one, it's set back, set back, set back. So, I always go for this one. Lately, I've been making my skins work for both. So we're going to do the custom configuration. So this is the truck. That's the that's the big one as you get it from Overfloater. I mean it's not it's not bad, but I mean it's a little short. So here I'm going to go ahead and put a paint job on it to just to show you what happens to your paint job if you uh, go ahead and do all of this stuff out of sequence. So we got a nice paint job, but we got a short truck. What we're going to do, uh, what you have to do, the first thing is go to the interior. And you're going to click this button here, GPS 1. And if you want to use, use this GPS and you don't want to have a second one over here, just and you want to leave whatever you click here, just click the uh, onboard computer, overfloater <laughs> board computer. And uh, okay, so now we're going to go to, so we've got that selected. This is the first step. Go to paint. You look at gray. Gray didn't used to be here. I, I guess I should have showed you that. But now gray is an option that we clicked on that uh, navigator. So we click gray. Now the truck's gray. So while well, we lost our paint job, um, uh, we'll go back to the interior. And we're going to go steering wheel. We're going to scroll down. Now there's a Volvo steering wheel. So we click on that. And don't worry, it's temporary. We'll go back to paint job and right above gray when we go up now there's a thing called clown car 3000 so that's why you always hear me calling it the clown car so you click that and bang there's your wheelbase so now here's a note of caution if you were to go and paint your truck and you're oh man this is awesome i got my truck it's just what i want but what if i change the cab to this one Oh, it worked. <laughs> oh, what was it? The changes. There's there's a change you can make. Yeah, that's it. If you click to this cab, you you look at what happened to your truck. Your nice stretched out truck. It's gone. So just to reiterate, we'll switch back to that uh, the the VIT cab. The, well, that's the one I like. I prefer it. You can do this one. Um, I just prefer this cab throw the arrow up if you're going to use a uh, then you're going to go to your interior you got to select that so we've got it it's still there so uh paint gray go back to the interior and notice our steering wheel changed we didn't change it it changed from volvo through all of that messing around we just did click the volvo steering wheel back to paint 
right above gray, Clown Car 3000. Put your paint job on, doll your truck up, and have fun. And there's one other thing that uh, I'm going to put a link for at the end of this little video, and it's uh, under cables for this truck. And that allows you, when you go to accessories, and you click on cables, you've now got rear frame cables under cables. So it's pretty handy. So if you're using something like Bart's Reefer or you're using the mod uh, that puts under cables on the uh, SCS trailers, there you go. A nice clean deck here. And uh, that's it. It's that simple. So I just don't know why uh, it's not part of the game. Um, the chassis, I, I don't quite get it. That you have to jump through these hoops to, to get it because I get asked so many times. And uh, my friend Matt, uh, Matt and uh, Matt, Matt Hodgson, Hodgson's told me how to do this. And, uh, you know, ever since you, you, you do it once, you kind of remember it. And uh, it's a bummer when um, uh, so many people don't know and they have this truck and they've had it for years. And, they, you know, they, they see it and wonder, oh boy, where'd that guy get that mod? Well, that's, there you are. It's that simple. So anyway, we'll uh, abandon that and get out of here and drive. And so this is kind of what you can make with it. I'll put the retro development wheels uh, there as well. And uh, I think that's it for mods to skin, I guess. I have I have quite a few skins for this truck up on Steam. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's just a little short one, just a little tutorial on how to get that uh, chassis. Uh, take care. We'll catch you on the next one.